Hi everyone, Angela here. In this video, I'm gonna show you a couple of ways I make these skinny straps or tubes. One is less than quarter of an inch or five millimeters wide, and the other is one eighth of an inch or three millimeters wide with a little bit of thickness to it. I'll be using some soft satin, a metal loop turner or latch hook, some mounting tape, my rotary cutter and my wide quilting ruler along with a spring clamp. Now the next time you receive one of these balloons or you can get your hands on one, make sure you keep it because we want to keep this beauty. Now this straw is really narrow and the opening in the center is the perfect size to put your loop turner or latch hook through. Now the straw is a little bit long, so you just need to cut it down so that the top of that hook is still exposed. You can get the same narrow straw in one of these balloon kits. You can also clean out and use the tube from a soap dispenser. It's almost the same size, it's not quite as narrow, so the loop turner will easily fit through the center. You can also use a skinny drinking straw and just cut it down to the right length. It is a little bit wider, so you will have to make your strap a little bit wider as well. One last thing you can use as a tube is a garden riser. You just need to remove that top bit and shorten the length a little. Now again, it is a little bit wider, so your strap will have to be made a little bit wider as well. Next, I'm gonna use my quilting ruler and my rotary cutter to cut a couple of one inch or 25 millimeter wide bias strips. And then square off all the ends. With right sides together, wrap your fabric around the skinny tube and just pinch where the fabric meets. So this is where you'll be stitching down your strap. We'll start sewing close to the upper corner and angle towards the center of the strap. So when you're sewing such a narrow strip of fabric, it can be a little bit hard to control. And also when you're pulling on bias, it does narrow in width. So what I do is I cut four pieces of mounting tape about an inch and a quarter or an inch and a half long, and I stack two pieces together to create a bit of an edge guide for the fabric. Keeping it stretched, place the tape on either side of the fabric edges, just in front of the foot. This tape is going to help guide that fabric in nicely. When you get close to the end, remove the tape on the right side and just angle your stitching towards the corner of the strap. So now you have larger openings on each end. Grab your skinny tube and thread it through the strap. Pull all the fabric down over it. It should feel snug, but because the fabric's cut on the bias, it'll stretch over the tube quite easily. When you get to the top, leave about half an inch or a centimeter of fabric above the tube and cut a little hole there. Insert your loop turner and push that bottom latch of the hook through that hole and pull your fabric through the tube. Slide the fabric up the tube as you're pulling and the strap will come through that tube really easily. Of course you can use a loop turner without a tube, but this really does make the process a lot smoother. And there you have a nice skinny strap that's less than quarter of an inch or five millimeters wide. Leave a comment below and let me know how you make your straps. So next for our super skinny strap, we need to fold our fabric right sides together again. And this time we're just gonna sew a channel that's just wide enough to fit the top of our loop turner. So I'm just gonna pinch my fabric and place a pin where I need to stitch. Start sewing from the top corner, angling towards the pin. With your needle down and stretching the fabric a little bit, place your pieces of tape on both sides of the strap. Mm -hmm. 
Continue sewing and when you get close to the end, stitch towards the corner of the strap. Now the channel still looks a bit wide to me when I put in the loop turner. It's still loose, not snug. So I'm going to go back and sew another line to make that opening a little bit narrower. This time when I put the loop turner in, it feels nice and snug. So again, make a little cut and push that bottom latch through and start pulling your fabric in. Now turn it around and hook the base of the loop turner onto something so that you can pull on the fabric. There you have an eighth of an inch or three millimeters. Another easy way of turning these loops is by clamping the base of the loop turner onto a table and then pulling on the fabric. The finer your fabric is, the skinnier you can make your straps. You can also use these super skinny straps as cording and also button loops. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Thanks again for watching and happy sewing.